Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Michelle. Thank you for being here if you're new and thank you for returning if you are not. Uh, so today is going to be day, what am I? Today is day 18. Um, so the question is what cards relate to you personally, not just your astrology association or court cards. And that question is by Lizzie Bolton. I don't know who Lizzie Bolton is, so I can't leave any links, but Lizzie Bolton asked that question. <laughs> so um, I didn't really have to th think on this too much. I did automatically kind of lean towards this card and then I was like, no, maybe it's a pinnacle card because you know, you guys know that pentacles come up a lot in tarot for me. They're always there. They're constantly present. But this card also comes up a lot for me. And in my deck, the Witch's Tarot, it is uh, the Fae card. I, I can't figure out how to say it. To my understanding, it's she. But that sounds strange to me to say. So... It's the fake card for now. Um, but let me see if I can handle this. Okay. There we go. And it is definitely by far my favorite card. It resonates with me so much, like so well. And it's really funny, um, right, because I... I have not like owned a traditional like rider weight or anything that uses rider weight uh very like or follows rider weight 100 percent like to the t right so this the fake card was my favorite card and i was like oh my god it's the one that is on the box that i really connected with right off the bat and i was like I love this picture. Like, I need this in my life. Ironically enough, it is the Temperance card. And it is a card about balance. And, um, you know, in this, this deck specifically, it kind of uh, references more, like, balance being between, like, spiritual and physical. And um, what was the wording that it used? Um, balance and flow between two worlds and consciousness. So, you know, the picture is of this witch and she's listening to the fae and they're telling her like how to create this perfect potion. Um, the interaction between reality and identity Idealism invigorates both and brings about the balance between the physical and the psychic realms necessary for magical works. And I just, I felt really, <coughs> um, I just felt really drawn to this card. And I just felt like it really encompassed in my head, like what I'm doing. And it just, like, I could envision myself being within this card, right? I could picture myself in the witch's, uh, the witch's posi position. And I really loved that. And I, I think that when you find those kinds of cards, um, that means something so abruptly to you. And they feel like they're your cards. I feel like that's something to take note of. Um, and it's the reason why I got the Green Witch deck in the first place, not because, like, specifically it was the Green Witch, right? Like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, that makes sense. You would have the Green Witch deck because you're such a Green Witch, right? But that had really nothing to do with it at the time, right? It was that picture that had everything to do with it. And I was so drawn to it. And I was so like, this is me. Like, this is my home. And... Um, it's just really funny that it is a card about balance. It's also really funny that it is Julie's favorite card. I knew her favorite card was Temperance. I did not realize that that card was the card that it was. And I bought this, like, 
about the same time Julie and I started talking, but before I knew that temperance was her favorite card. <coughs> so I, I feel like it's one of those soul connections, like little connections here and there that kind of like affirm uh, soul bonds, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so one of the other things uh, that it talks about when this card appears in a reading, there is a message of good people skills and the, abil the ability to communicate with others so they are willing to help one accomplish a task. In the physical world, this manifests as someone who is a good organizer and knows how to present ideas in a way that generates enthusiasm and support from coworkers, superiors, and peers. So, um, you know, for me... Uh, the ability to communicate. I, I work with the county. I, uh, you know, I have to be able to be very communicative with other people. I am also a manager. So I have to, um, you know, I have to make sure that I'm communicating effectively. And I think that communication is so important to me that it just, it's so funny how these things like correlate is all I'm saying, right? So, you know, it's about balance. I need balance. I have, you know, some really volatile mental illness. And um, while that's not a, uh, a definer of who I am, it does mean that balance is important for me. It's important for me to find mentally, emotionally, physically. It's important for me to remember and it's like an everyday task that I really need to strive towards and that I do try to strive towards. So, yeah. And I love organizing things. I love, um, I don't like organizing things that I have to organize, like for work, you know. Uh, but I love going into a space and just like, tinkering with it and like making it a certain way. And I, I found that, uh, <laughs> pretty cute. <coughs> Sorry. I found that just kind of adorable that it, it kind of coincided with my own feelings. Um, and my own -ness, so to speak. That is my favorite card. What's your favorite card? Do you guys have a favorite card? Um, one of the questions for <laughs> the 31 Days of Tarot is, you know, what card do you look for um, or look towards the most? And if you don't like that card in a deck, does it ruin the deck for you? How do you guys feel about that? Um, me personally, I don't look at any cards in a deck um, specifically to judge whether or not I would like the deck, though I could see why maybe someone would. Um, but I find it interesting that that question also seems to like go hand in hand with um, today's topic in that I bought the Green Tarot solely because of this one card that I saw, not realizing or understanding that it was actually the temperance card and that, um, you know, balance being something that I really, truly need. I just like six degrees of separation. It all kind of like, you know, comes in together a little bit and makes you, makes you feel things. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and until next time, whatever it is, wherever you are. I hope you have a lovely one. Bye.